So do you know how long it's been there, um, Francesca? I'm not really sure. I just saw her. Uh, the best friends were cool. And I you saw her then? Um, oh, I can hear the baby. Over there. Okay. All right. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hey, Mum. So, this is the baby. Hello, sweetheart. Yep. So, I'm, I usually do that with thing and then I feel for it. Yep. But she's really not aggressive at all. Um, she's had enough, haven't you, sweetheart? And just a matter of unhooking the feet. Don't pull the feet off anything. Yep, be be because the feet... Hello. Twins. I thought there were two. She's got <laughs> twins. Okay, so you can see she's got two babies here. One yep. here. So mum likes to hold her feet onto something. Normally they wouldn't just lie there like that. Yeah, look. Yep, all right. So she's pretty out of it. Well... Oh, no. Okay, let me have a look. She's heavy because she's got twins. That yep. thing's okay. Okay, Mama. So it's a matter of... Yeah. Hello, baby. Let me have a look. That's okay. It's okay, sweetheart. What about your legs? Are you a... So... One baby on either side. Aren't you beautiful? So, Mum's really calm. She may have hit her head. Yep. See if she likes a drink. She's feeding babies. She's bound to be thirsty. Well, look at that. <laughs> this is apple juice. And she has twins, and twins are really uncommon. Well, I don't know, twins may be common, we just don't necessarily know about it, because one will eventually just drop off, and I often think a lot of the, the lone babies that we find on the ground might be dropped twins, but normally they won't just lie here like that. Yeah. <laughs> so you wrap them, you can put them on a um, pillow mama, or a big, big roll. Yep. yep. Well, aren't you a clever mama bear? Isn't she a clever girl having twins? <laughs> okay. You gonna just lie there for me like that? Okay, we won't crush her feet. She'll just move them. And then we just cover her. Right. Look at that. Hey mama? Well, she's got nothing big broken and she's working both legs, so things look good for her. The cover, because that'll calm her, keep her calm. Yep. Thank you, Francesca. So I just picked up this mum, this mum, Ricky. You know, sweetheart? She's got two babies. She's got twins. Now, apart from been quite spaced out. Even though she looks alert, she's terribly calm, which is not normal. Apart from being spaced out, she didn't appear to have any long bone fractures or anything big that I can see. Although once um, they've had drinks, all sorts of swellings might turn up and some bruising. I'm going to take the two babies and weigh and measure them. I think I need gloves because we've got wild babies. Wild babies grab onto everything. They're like little Velcros. They've got these extra little barbs under their claws that help them hang on. So, here's one. This one's the boy, I think. Let me have a look. Yep, we've got a little boy here. Hello, baby. Okay, you hold on to me. Let me just have a look at you. Now, he's got maggots on him. Now, he shouldn't. 
unless mum has for some reason. Let me have a look at you. Ooh, mum's got maggots. Some maggots on her. Get out of the way, mummy. It's alright. I've got your baby. It's okay. Alright, we need to get the maggots off mum. Come on, gently. I just want to see if this baby's okay too. And if there's maggots under this wing. Why have you got maggots on this side, sweetheart? Do you hit your head? Oh, look how many maggots there are under there. I need to get all those out there. Eat, going to eat her alive. Let's take your other baby and then we can clean you up. Come on. Come on. Where's your other foot, sweetheart? Can you let go of mum's nipple for me, please? Why don't you? You little girl. Okay. You just hang on to me there. In a way, you and... Oh, let me have a look. Okay, you've got no... No maggots on you. Okay, you're okay. We are, sweetie. You're really thirsty, aren't you? I just want to get the maggots off the baby. Yep, you're the boy. Noisy boy, aren't you? Of course, there's only a couple on him. And then that way I can um, concentrate on the mum once I've got him sorted. I need a dummy for you, don't I? Or have I got them all off? No. Nope. See the little white things? Yes, baby. I know. Okay, there's another bunch of these are eggs here. They're about to hatch. See, and there'll be some more probably in the fold of his wrist. There's one there. Yes, baby. Oh, that eye looks sore. We've got some goop here. Yes, we do. Let's put some goop in his eye. There's no maggots in there. Do you want to put your other eye? Let's see how, how old you are. My fine little fella with the dummy in his mouth. He's not nearly as panicked. Okay, you're 73. 77. And 77, let me just... 77, four arm, wait. What did I say? 73, four arm. 73 puts him about a fortnight, but he's underweight for that. Okay, in you go, baby. There we are. Okay, you got a wee in you? No? You're not dehydrated, are you? Let me have a look at you. 
Ooh, you're dry, aren't you? Okay, prioritize. Mum's got maggots eating holes in her baby needs some fluids. So this one's a little girl. And she's much smaller. So she's 67. How are your eyes? No, we're not. Mm -hmm. I might have to call you Velcro. <laughs> I've got a good, good idea, Velcro and Klingon. Boy can be Klingon. Okay. So she's 20 grams lighter than he is. Okay. Hey, both of you. There we are. We'll get you some fluids, both of you. And we'll just get the majority of mum's maggots out and then get them fluids. That's my plan. Here we look. Some maggots will only eat dead flesh. Some maggots eat live flesh as well and they're eating a hole in mum. So I think mum's been on the ground for a while. Maybe she hit head a couple of days ago. A wound there, sweetheart. I mean, you just put your face back there because I don't need any bitey bits near me. I know that hurts. And I'm going to get her some um, Ivermec, which will um, destroy the maggots that are feeding on her. But um, I have to go in a vet and get that. Big maggots. Under there. Okay, I suspect that Mum has um, hit her head a couple of days ago. She hasn't had anything to feed her babies, and she wasn't well enough to stop flies laying eggs on her and then the eggs hatching. Okay, so babies need fluid, mum needs fluids and then I need some ivermectin. Hello sweetheart. I do. Like that there. went away mum so that we can medicate her 614 
thing. No, oh, sweetheart. Yeah, I know. Let's take you off the wet one. It's okay. See? It's all I'm doing. Apparently I have some of the stuff here. Point, point two. And she's point six. Did I say six four? Six hundred and fourteen, so she needs point six of them. This one I need you to drink and not slop out. I can give you some more juice afterwards. Good girl. Doesn't matter if you didn't like it. Okay, fluids for the kids. So the little ones are going to get some fluids. Now they're sucking on their dummy. See how the skin is not springing back? I mean, she's quite dry. Now she was 58, so no six mils. Nice and warm. No six mils of that one. There we are. It's all right. You dropped your dummy. You are, sweetheart. Currently, I'm just calling you Velcro. It's all right. You'll get some. Oh, I didn't give you some glucose, did I? Well, it's downstairs, so it ain't happening until I, until I fixed your mum up. Here we are. There we are. Now I'd say the boy is in a little bit more trouble. His eyes bad, and he was the one that had maggots on him. I got them all. See, that's a maggot, that tiny little white speck. I think I got them all from him. He only had a couple on him. And just give him a little bit of fluids. So you can have six, seven mils, maybe eight of mils. Okay. I'll sort you out in a minute. One, two. Change the needles. that for me please mama this is mum's nipple she has a tiny little bit of milk in it so she's still making something for her babies there's another maggot let's just try and pick those maggots out Right, mate. See a whole bunch more of them there. Ugh. Yuck. And they're fast and they run away. Sweetheart. Sorry, Mama. Yeah, that's a big one. 